welcome to St. Mark's Family Youth and Children Time on this, the second Sunday of Easter. Let's talk about trust. What is trust? What is being trustworthy? What is believable? How do we know if something is real or not? Here are three things I heard last week. How do I know which ones are true? Can you help me figure it out? The first thing I saw was a 500 pound cat was found living in a tunnel under Semiamu High School. And then later I heard that the government has announced that we don't have to wear masks all the time now. And then I heard that a three year old girl lifted a car all by herself and she threw it into the Fraser River. Can you tell me which one of those is true? And which two are lies or stories? Uh, the masks, that's the masks. true. Oh, I bet you got that right. How about this next set? In 1969, the first person walked on the moon. Later, I was reading and I saw that starting in 2023, children in grade three will now be able to get a driver's license. Cars are being developed so they can reach the pedals. And then I read that new studies have proven chocolate is better for a growing child than fruits and vegetables. Are all these correct? No. No. Or all these lies? Man did walk on the moon. No. Sometimes it's pretty easy to figure out which one is correct. And you got it. But how about these ones? I heard that a child from Laurent's school has won the lottery. They won $5 million and have made arrangements to purchase the school. And they're going to turn it into a playground. I also heard that all dogs in Surrey now will be required to wear masks when out in public. I also heard that White Rock Generations Playground is the place for kids of all ages. It's the dog I one. I love that one. Yeah, that one seems to make the most sense, doesn't it? But sometimes it's hard to tell. Even grown-ups tell things that are not quite true. Sometimes they just repeat something they heard without checking to see if it's true. But there is one thing we can know with absolute certainty, beyond a doubt, Jesus rose from the dead to save us. We're just finishing the Easter celebrations. We learned of Christ's death on the cross and how he came back to life. How amazing! But what happened after he came back to life? What did his disciples and other people around him believe? Well, that Jesus was alive. So now what? Well, the Easter eggs were decorated and hidden and have been found. The chocolate bunnies have been eaten. The decorations have been put away for another year. It may seem that Easter has lost its thrill. But the empty tomb is only the beginning of this story. And there are important things for us to learn from what happens after Jesus rises from the dead. Now that Jesus has risen, we know that there are still many in town who are trying to arrest the followers of Jesus. Imagine how the disciples may have felt. Nervous, terrified, still sad and uncertain of the future. They were huddled in hiding when suddenly a change swept into the room. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Wow, how amazing. The disciples have gone from fear to faith. They've been hiding behind locked doors and Jesus just walks in. Did he walk through the wall? The disciples are plunged into joy and Jesus doesn't stop there. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Do you know what it means to receive the Holy Spirit? It means we're given power through God. We are entrusted with the special task of telling others about what Jesus did. Do you think you have any power? How about, imagine you are this little domino, just one little domino. 
But what happens if you are near other dominoes? What if one were to fall over? Watch what happens. This is a chain reaction. It is like when we accept Christ and share his love. That can start a reaction with others catching on and spreading the good news. Or, imagine you hear about Jesus. We can get so excited about Jesus that we can't help bubbling over to share the good news. Well, let's go back to the Bible. Not all of the disciples were there to see Jesus. We don't know why, but Thomas was not with them. Now, Thomas is one of the twelve, uh, and he wasn't with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. We don't know why Thomas missed the meeting, but by not being there, he did not see Jesus, and he refused to believe them. We now associate Thomas with doubt, as he stubbornly refuses to believe what the disciples share, in spite of their evident joy. However, Christ comes bounding in again. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Jesus came back to visit Thomas face to face and allows his doubts to be put to rest. The most interesting words in this visit, though, at least for our sake as modern believers, is in verse 29. Jesus says, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Who might that be? Us! We have not physically seen Jesus, but we believe, and we are blessed for it. Let's close with prayer. Thank you, God, for all the wonderful things you do in our lives. Thank you for the resurrection of Jesus. Thank you for loving us, and help us share that love with others. Amen. Okay.